like another ill. Designer on me, this they new Chanel. Did they split? Did they drill? Hey, hey, champion. Huh? Yeah, we here. Yeah, yeah, this the winning team. Six rings with a pinky ring. Everybody used to pick at me. Now I'm the one that they picking. Snake shout, they hit scene. But I can't hear it when the crowd screams. Still balling like an offspring. This for all the ones that doubted me. Gotta lose once to be a true winner. Only want the hundreds with the blues in the where the blood then the juice stay turned like you know i've been through that water like the swim swimmers only bread and butter what we ate for dinner so i had to dream it till the dream is bigger only want the gold we don't need the silver gotta be number one number two never count used to have bubble guts competition now pouring them out making my babies proud wanna cop my mama a house coming straight out the south got enough juice to end the drought yeah i buy like i buy like 23 won't fall again and i put that on me I feel the way my heart all on my sleeve. Yeah. That's why I had to put my wrist on freeze. Coming to you from the venue that hosted the Super Bowl back in February of 06. Welcome to Ford Field in downtown Detroit. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Ford Field tunnels. And the noise level in this place just about off the charts. They are set for football as the Lions get ready to do battle with the Chicago Bears. Time for a much needed and much welcome diversion. The NFL is back. Here we go. Week one. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Bears take over first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. On first down, Trubisky. That's complete to the Memphis man, Anthony Miller. Trubisky and way up past the 35 before he's taken down. The end result, 21 yards. And the Bears first down. Some at midfield, and they'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. First down for the Bears, a gain of 15. That's a very nice game there, a confidence building run. Love the execution up front, and the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A gain of 22. A good pick up there, a 22. Chicago. zone just inside the 20. Give him nine on the carry that time and they're set up with a second and one. Pretty effective run there and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your O-line to set the tone of dominance and physicality and pound the rock. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. And he's hauled in by Jimmy Graham. Touchdown, Bears. Touchdown, Chicago. Jimmy Graham there to make the grab. And the Bears take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Makes the extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7-0 game. Eddie Pinheiro to kick off for Chicago. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. 
Takes this about five yards deep. And they're going to have good starting field position. He's out of bounds, but now the four, he's across the 35. At their own 37-yard line. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 37. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Out of the gun, Stafford. at their own 43-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. And look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Two yards. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Intended. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver, and that'll make it third down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. And able to find Graham, complete. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 at enemy territory. He had the touchdown on the opening drive. Now he's got a first down. Now Trubisky on first down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked by Tracy Walker. And a big return will get him all the way down to the 35. That was just one of those interceptions from our perspective here. We got a good view at the 50-yard line mid-level that quarterback and receiver were not on the same page. Just by his reaction, I'm talking about the quarterback, he expected something different from his receiver, whether he expected him to break in, out, deeper, shorter. They'll determine that on the sideline. But bottom line, you could see that he thought he'd be in a different spot, except the defender was looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Kyle Fuller, and his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. First quarter, and now he already has two interceptions. Yeah, he's got to guard against being tentative from this point forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make the proper throws. I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions in a game, and win. He's got to understand. Put it behind you. Keep pressing forward. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Partner, I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there's good coverage there that forced the incompletion. They'll try to run for it with Cohen, and he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. First down. Now it's Trubisky. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Jamie Collins 
Gets him for a loss of five. He is so tough to handle on the blitz, and that's exhibit A. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. This is a quick pass from Trubisky. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. So two plays with only negative yardage to show, and now it's third and 16. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And Robinson with a big catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First catch for the Bears' leading receiver from a year ago. It's a Chicago first down. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Give him 28 yards on that one. And it'll give him a fresh set of downs. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Lions, nothing. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. First down, a run with Cohen. So just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. On second down now, it's Cohen. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. Yeah, he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. And it's third. Down. They'll try to counter here. Cohen. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. Eddie Pinheiro on now for the Bears. A 27 yard attempt. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Oh, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section? Now they hit the first and this is picked up by the Bears. And they bring this one back. A fumble return for a Bears touchdown. So they get the one score, kick off, get a fumble, take it right back to the house. <laughs> Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it a little bit human? Maybe you break the ice a little bit. Like, hey, did we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? And maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. The ball carrier. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. He's got his man, TJ Hawkinson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they win cross midfield well, forget the run on third and one they shot the d and rip off a pretty big play this offense finding its legs now here's another first and ten the shotgun snap for Stafford. 
incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Stafford. Well, try and set up the screen to Swift. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. So nothing there on the screen that time. That means all that great acting they tried on offense went for naught, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make them think that they can get to the passer by letting them by and then setting up the screen and getting downfield. Didn't happen at all. Give a lot of credit to the defense for not tumbling to that one. Throwing on third down. Stafford. Open man is Gordon. Complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 33. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Escaping the pressure right. That's complete to DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 20-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. throw there, partner. I mean, he's already thrown two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50-50 balls when you've had that kind of lack of success. Yeah, absolutely. Very well could have been a third interception in half number one. Team. That's three interceptions now, four turnovers for the game. You really have no chance to win the football game. After the interception, here's Trubisky. And his throw here is incomplete. He was trying to find Anthony Miller there, and that'll bring up second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Completes it to Miller. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. On first and 10, it's Trubisky. And he finds his tight end, Graham. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. It's 25 yards guy. that time. First down, Chicago. <laughs> Trubisky gives to Cohen. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. Now Trubisky to throw. Dancing to his left. He's going to take off with it. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. The Bears on the move. They've got another first down. Chicago. 
They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Eddie Pinheiro to kick off for Chicago. Pinheiro now to kick this one away. And a fair catch signal for and taken successfully. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Here's second and ten. Five-yard line. To throw again. Stafford, and he'll be stopped right at midfield. Give him 14 on that one, and a first down. The funny part, you often hear how tough it is for a rookie receiver to adjust to the NFL. I think the same is true for tight ends. You're asking them to do a lot in the NFL game with the additional blocking that many of them didn't have to do in college. And T.J. Hawkinson, he's a number eight overall pick in 2019. Touchdown. Prater lining up for As a former DB, you might not like to see them, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they grab. Correct on both counts. All right, because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Matt Prater to kick off for Detroit. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Take it about seven yards deep. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. He does a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Down Bears. Throw on first down with Trubisky. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. At their own 42-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And three yards there takes him to the 45. 
interior. I have to think a major focus of the halftime mix had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. The frustration is definitely setting in because they've thrown it to him over and over, unable to come up with a catch thus far. I think he knew he would have his challenges against his secondary. I don't think he saw a goose egg at this point in the game. To throw on third down. Stafford will try and set up the screen. It's complete. And pass midfield just a yard or two shy of the 40. First down, Rollins on a pickup of 13. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sensed that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. On second down, Swift. And he's going to take this down close to a first down at about the Bears' 28. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. A three-yard pickup. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. The 25-yard line. They'll try the air now with Stafford. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 11 yards there, first down. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. Got goes up and completes it. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Not much there, only a yard. One yard. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. On second down. It's Johnson. And once again, he's going to be stopped up behind the line. Second straight play. Shades of the 85 Bear defense a little bit. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine. And they need 10 yards out of it on third. From the gun, here's Stafford. in a game before, and right now after that one, he's standing on number four. And right now, your defensive coordinator is asking the offensive coordinator, can you do anything to slow this down? Because my guys have to keep running back out on the field, so play calling may come into it a little bit, maybe run the ball a little bit more, but a lot of it depends on the scoreboard. They may have to keep throwing it. They'll start things on first with Torrey Cohen. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. A gain of 11 on the play. And the Bears first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Trubisky. And he's going to be taken down. They sack him. well as we begin quarter number four work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack now Cohen and he's upended at the 33 following a good pickup of eight ball carrier and that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. On 
third down, Trubisky. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. It's Desmond Trufant. And it's a terrific return here as he's going to have him set up with a first and goal right at about the six-yard line. Intercepted. The only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Six-yard line. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Lions have taken the lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line, because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks get them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. For Darryl Patterson on the return. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. He sets to fire deep. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I'm trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. He may try and run for this. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter. Picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. On first down, they go right back to Cohen. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. The ball carrier. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambling a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 35. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. And, the Bears. and here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it, and it took the ball off course. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. On second down, Montgomery. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. David Montgomery. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And that will be incomplete. As this old brain remembers, 
When I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Pinheiro for the Bears field goal. A 47-yard attempt. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway, trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. At their own 20-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with straight ahead pursuit and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. I like what I'm seeing from them here. A tie game in the fourth quarter. They understand the situation. They don't need to be in any rush. Go ahead and huddle up and run your offense. That last completion put them in a nice position to take the lead in this game. Give them a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Five yard line. A gain of two. Brings up second and eight. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And this throw caught left side. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 38-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and 10. A run on first down, but it's not going to get him much. Maybe a yard, and that's all. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. At the 37-yard line. Once again, it's Swift. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. get to the 28 for a first. Stafford going to give it to Swift. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. So here comes the veteran Matt Prater in a big spot in this ball game. This to take the lead here in the final minute. And this one is right down the middle. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. The Mares take over first and 10 at their own 18-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock, a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock... And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. It's Desmond Trufant. 
And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. over it's a win for the Detroit Lions and partner I must say good to see you again been too long and it's good to have football back isn't it didn't you see me in preseason weren't we together in preseason yeah but preseason you know it's preseason this is week one. Oh, you're trying to say real football yeah, real football not preseason football yeah. where we shake down the rosters and figure out who's going to play and maybe the starters don't play as much now it's the front line guys from the first whistle. Yeah, I tuned you out in the preseason. <laughs> and now I'm listening to you. So for the Lions, it wasn't always pretty, but they do eke out the week one victory here by a field goal. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Green Bay Packers. Meanwhile, for the Bears, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they will be at home next week to take on the New York Giants. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.